Welcome. In this video, we'll discuss quantization and how to quantize events in FL Studio. Quantization is the process of aligning notes, audio, and automation with the time grid in FL Studio. For example, aligning them with the beats and bars. This way, critical parts of the music can play at exactly the same time, similar to an orchestra playing to a conductor. Of course, you may not always want everything on grid, and that's why we have a bunch of quantization options. As musicians, one of the most common uses for quantization is to align the time values of notes we record or edit into FL Studio from keyboards or drum pads. So, let's see how it works. I'll record some notes so we can see some unquantized human input. I will show you a trick that allows you to automatically quantize notes as you record them later. But for now, let's record that raw input. Once you've recorded your notes, use the quick quantize function in the tools menu to snap them to the nearest grid value. This works in conjunction with your main snap setting. The snap setting will determine the grid size notes will snap to. The piano roll also has a snap setting that can override the main snap. This method will always quantize the notes start and end times to land on the grid. Sometimes however you may not want that, which is why. Also in the tools menu, there are more advanced quantizing options. There's quick quantize start times, which doesn't apply quantization to note durations or end time. And then there's quantize. This option will open a panel, letting you preview the changes before applying quantization. Now, there are red lines indicating where the snap points for notes are. For now, I'm going to gloss over the template section, but generally, it's where you can choose between a number of preset grooves and grid sizes. You can also load in your own from score files you've previously created. In essence, this allows complex quantization patterns. Check the manual for full details. There are also controls for customizing the quantization. Increase the sensitivity to increase the range around the red snapping lines in which notes are snapped. The start time and duration knobs allow mixing between the unquantized input at 0% and the quantized result at 100%. The selector here lets you switch between four quantize modes. Quantize duration quantizes the length of the notes according to the snap grid. Quantize end time snaps the end time of the notes to the snap grid. Leave duration retains the original note duration after snapping the start time of the notes and leave end time retains the original end time of the notes. The row of controls at the bottom are for mixing in the individual note parameters in the score file you've loaded. And since all FL Studio score files are using FL Studio notes, they each contain the full set of velocity, pitch, panning, release velocity, mod X and mod Y values. Some people prefer to have notes quantized as they come into the software. This is especially helpful when loop recording with blend recording on, as you don't need to go in the piano roll to make adjustments every time you've added a layer. To enable input quantization in FL Studio, right click the record button and select which parameters to quantize. It's important to note input quantization, including these options, won't be applied when the main snap is set to line, cell, or none. Here you can select note start time, note end time, or leave note duration. When leave note duration is on, it will override note end time and vice versa. You can also quantize automation on input in FL Studio. This is helpful for things such as sustain pedal inputs or other single switch type hardware controls. Mm -hmm. 
Quantizing audio in FL Studio is done in a number of ways. The first one is to quick quantize the start time of audio clips in the playlist from the tools menu. Like the piano roll, this works off of your main snap setting unless you set otherwise in the playlist snap menu. If you have two different clips butted up against each other in the playlist, you can turn stretch mode on, then hold shift and click the end of clip 1 or the start of clip 2 and drag left and right with your mouse to warp both clips at the same time. For advanced, marker-based warping and quantization of audio files, we have NewTime. To open NewTime, click the top left of an audio clip to open the clip menu and then click on Time Warp Sample. We have another video covering the warping workflow in NewTime, so I'll keep this segment down to the bare minimum. Basically, NewTime reads audio files and places markers on points where it detects transients or uses existing markers in the file. You can hold shift to see where markers will land and click to add them. Double click to remove them. To quantize, set your snap to the nearest available division in the snap menu. Then go to the edit menu and select quantize time. You can select grooves from the menu here and apply them incrementally using the groove knob. And that's all you really need to know about quantization in FL Studio to get started using it. And I hope this video makes it easier to keep yourself in the groove when making music. Please check out the video information for segments, links to the manual and the new time video. And as always, the projects I used in this video. <laughs>